What are we doing with our lives? Okay. Ito mako kasi. It's a lot to take in. <laughs> okay, let's see. Unboxing the T37. Ah, dito pala galing yung mga to, no? Okay, that's good to know. Okay. Para malaman natin kung rig talaga to. I haven't, I haven't bought a T37 wheel. This is a client's wheel, huh? I didn't buy it. So, it comes with this. And then, of course, here it is. Okay? The concept is racing. Okay? And here you go. Wow, it looks beautiful in person. I did not see this before. Si Leon bumili ng wheels na to for us. Can you inspect this? Can you, like, zoom in? You can actually see how finely machined that is compared to the copy. Can you see it? The way the original logo is etched like that. And the paint or the powder coating is not the usual talaga. This is original. <laughs> I mean, coming from ano ah, like, we machine bakal eh. Even the period, look at this, that's crazy. Race engineering period. Even the small period. See? Fucking crazy, man. We're gonna cut this up. Yes, we are going to cut this up. That's why we're making this video. S plus. So, kaya namin inahanap yung S plus. Okay? Pag saga. Ang saga, naka-ukit, naka-etch. The logo of Walk Racing is actually etched on the spoke. That's the very key point of saga. If hindi siya saga, oh geez, this is not, this is bare. And then S Plus gives you that wide offset, or a, bit, a very, very good offset with the flat spoke. Almost flat spokes. And so, let's pull it out. Better remove this, man. Holy shit, how do you even carry this fucking thing? Oh my god, it's so light. Look at the markings inside. Okay. Fucking hell. It's a beautiful wheel. Even inside, it's a loop. S Plus is actually etched inside as well. We're gonna cut, the, cut this. When we cut this, I'm keeping the barrel. <laughs> keeping the barrel, bro. Fuck that. Holy shit, man. Did it align? Holy fuck, can, you, can I see that from that angle? Oh my god, it's such a pretty wheel. And... Let's see if it has material for us to do. I think so. Yeah. Pretty much. Let's see. So we're inspecting if we can do the three piece conversion cleanly. So we might have to counter sunk on these portions. Let's see. It's gonna be a challenge because if we fuck this up, it's 175,000. So we better, you know, we better square up. Big challenge, but I think the man has enough. That's why my groove D2, eh? it's very, very sketchy here. Oh. There's a groove here. This makes it look like it's thin. One way to find out is drill a hole, measure the thickness of it. It's gonna be a bitch. But the only way we can do this is to cut it up. But anyway, okay, let's. Measure it on the Lexus itself. Tara, sandat na. Holy oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I can cut it <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yeah, dude, let's go. Uh, we 
few days later, there were actually barrels coming in, arriving sa Pilipinas from for other cars. This is actually a black gloss slip. Not gonna tear it open, uh, kasi it's for the client. So we're just gonna use it to test fit the T37. So we had a we had a gist of it na kung ano yung kailangan namin back then. On the first part, I was wearing white no last video. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to jack it up and measure. We have a good idea now. It's three inches on the front. This is a three inch, well, it's a 2.5 inch barrel. Overall, three inch siya. So this should give us a flush measurement on the front. So the 337 is on the, I don't know what I said on the previous, because it was sobrang tagal na nun, like isang linggo na siguro or less than. Uh, medyo dami tayong ginagawa. The reason why we don't just cut and get barrels it's because hirap magkamali. So I want to make sure it's correct because this is a TE37. As I've said, this is the first part. It's a very expensive wheel. We don't want to ruin it. Okay, so yeah, jump on it. This is it. TE37 on a wide body Lexus. Makita nga yung clearance here. So it's quite close to the caliper. Literally, sobrang lapit. So we're gonna push it by 3 millimeters outside. So that when we cut the barrel here on the back side, we're going to actually have a bit more space. Some pirasong bato, one piece of rock gets in there, scratch up the whole wheel, scratch up the caliper, so medyo delicado. But it's nice to have the caliper clearance this close because it looks full. Can you go here? So you can see, busog na busog yung wheel. Alright, so here it is. Okay. How does it look like from your side here? Go to the other side. How's the fitment? It's flush. <laughs> Is it poked out a bit? A little bit. A little and bit lang. Gonna go in pa, hmm. Remember, it's gonna go in by 5 millimeters. 5 millimeters is around that thick. Thin, rather. So, it's poking out a bit. Hmm, a bit. I don't see it because you're the one looking there. Lapit mo na so, what we're trying to do kasi, this car has a double wishbone suspension. Nagka-camber in yung suspension niya sa harap. So it's difficult to get the saktong spec. Kasi you can't base it on air out. You have to base it on ito. So, here. Go here. Go far. Okay. Sino pa yung mawa? Andre? How does it look? Okay ba? Looks good. So imagine nyo na lang, polish lip to. Mawa ko ulit brother. Dan dan. Dan dan. Dan Sama ko lang kamay mo ha, hindi kasama ko yung face. Okay. How is it? So we're gonna probably use silver studs. Kasi ang Saga, ang, ang peg ng Saga, naka-etch yung logo ng T37. So, having silver studs around the rim later on will complement this later. So that's the that's the premise: polished lip, bronze face with gold silver studs, or whatever it is. So yana, takto. It's gonna go in pa na konte. So <clears throat> yeah, konte. Tapos nga tama tigapa, tama. That's for the front. Okay, na. Thankfully, we have tayo... <laughs> <Yan. laughs> All 
right? So, okay. Sa likod naman tayo. Sa likod medyo challenging kasi look. Look at the rear. May spacer siya. If we remove the spacer, it's gonna be wider. So we're looking at probably as wide as Angie's car. Tara, tara, tara. So it's gonna be as wide as an RW. <laughs> Gantong ka wide siguro kakalabas anong rear ng Lexus na to. So it's gonna be this this wide on the back. So it's gonna be wild, but yeah, let's see. Let's proceed. Likod naman. For this one naman sa likod, we're gonna use a 19 inch. Kasi wala tayong exact exact na barrel. It's too wide. Eh. Malit lang siya ng konti, pero... <laughs> yeah, 4.5 na. Yan, come here. Dito ka tayo. Oh, How is it for shit. you? Oh <laughs> shit, that's so flush. It's like Eyes perfect. Ba? Oh shit, masok. So, we're using a 19 inch. So, yung 20 inch, obviously, mas mataas dito. Right? So, we're just using the 19 inch barrel for measuring the fitment. So this is a 4.5 inch barrel from a 19 inch diameter. So we can order a 20 inch na 4.5 barrel. So we don't have one. Ang meron tayo dito is 5.5 which is too long. So, yeah pa. Papasok pa yan. Pero papasok pa yan. Papasok pa yan ng ano. Papasok yan ng... 5 millimeters. Tapos, pwede natin ilagyan ng spacer na 5 millimeters ulit para... Because the reason why papasok siya ng 5 millimeters is because we're just putting the wheel face... Uh, sorry, the barrel sa wheel face. Pinapatong lang natin siya. So it's gonna go inside pa more. If we step it up to 5 inches, that's going to be 12 millimeter poke out. I don't think the owner can handle that kasi he doesn't... He's very, ano na, may, may edad na siya, he's uh, senior na siya. So, the owner of this car is actually a senior. Yan na. Yan na. 4.5? 4.5? Pasok pa ng konti, ano? Spacer na lang. Kung ano yung papas, actually maganda na siya. It's really nice. So, kung gusto ko ito ma-retain, lagyan ko ng spacer na 5 millimeters. Mas madali maglagyan ng spacer kaysa mag- bawas na materyales. Tsaka, nakapatong si Aldrin sa spokes, hindi sa lip. So, papasok pa ng konti yan. It looks good. I think that's okay. Tsaka, may iiwan yung harap eh. 2.5, 4.5 inch. Okay. I guess... Tsaka natin. And yeah, we can probably end the first part of the video here. So... The next episode, join us as we cut this up. So, puputulin na natin siya for real. Right now, dinedelay lang natin yung fact that we are going to cut it because we need to measure twice, cut once. And then, yeah, that's going to be it. Hopefully, this is exciting for you guys. This is something na hindi pa ginagawa sa Pilipinas. And I'm not happy na kami ang gagawa nito kasi I love this wheel. This is one of my dream wheels then. Pero the client wants it eh. So we have to deliver. So yeah, let's hopefully pray that it will be a successful conversion. But for now, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. I've been Kai from Fitment Engineering and you're watching Fitment TV. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.